I'd like to also uh, introduce uh, a man who's uh, tremendously devoted to his city, a friend, neighbor of the Science Center, uh, and, uh, and a great uh, devotee of education, uh, serving on the Board of Ed himself because he is so committed to, uh, to what's happening in the reform of the Hartford Public Schools, another partner of ours. Uh, so it's a pleasure to introduce Mayor Pedro Seguera to help us welcome this new reason to be in Hartford and enjoy the heck out of it. Thank you so much and thank you for being here. Uh, I think one of the best things about the Science Center, Connecticut Science Center, is that we are really trying to promote uh, the learning of science amongst our youth. And uh, there's no better way, there's no better way to bring science alive for our youth as it is through these demonstrative exhibits. And um, uh, I want to first thank the travelers for their support of this project. Uh, but more importantly, I want to thank the Science Center because we have had this year uh, a record number, record number of visits. And I think that with each and every visit uh, that's made by our young ones uh, to the Science Center, we're that much better in being able to make sure that our youth have a better opportunity at improving in science learning. So uh, we are trying to nurture our formal educational settings but also our informal settings that add so much value to learning. And um, where was Sheila three months ago when I started to attack the budget deficit? <laughs> she could have helped me out eat a lot quicker. Um, so um, it's uh, good to be here, good to be a part of this, and I just want to congratulate again the Connecticut Science Center for this great exhibition, and we look forward to having this and many others. Thank you, Mayor Segarra. Sheila is not one of the carnivorous dinosaur types, so if you're going to cast for budget purposes, uh, the team at the Science Center can help you well, we get the appropriate species. We'll give you some compost. <laughs> compost. <laughs> She's got plenty of that, let me tell you. Uh, very well said. Well, uh, the mayor put it well when he talked about uh, the fact that we're also about attracting people to an enjoyable educational experience that day in and day out is about thrills, but educational thrills. And uh, one of the other uh, agencies in government that we work with very closely is the State of Connecticut Department of Tourism, which uh, in the last uh, year and a half since the election of Governor Dan Malloy has been a very, very busy place. And uh, at the helm of the tourism division has been a gentleman who's now leading uh, something you're about to see a whole lot about, which is a rebranding effort for the entire state of Connecticut. And uh, Randy Fibash brings a great uh, background in tourism to Connecticut, uh, somewhat peculiar accent in these parts, but uh, a lot of passion for the cause. So Randy, we really like to call ourselves one of the jewels in Connecticut's yep, crown of uh, tourism attractions, and we're delighted to be working with you in this effort. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. You know, as I begin to talk, I don't know what he's talking about, about not being able, not of having a different kind of uh, accent. Yeah, I try to convince people, Mr. Mayor, that I am uh, from Southern Connecticut, but nobody's buying it yet. I'm from the South, too. Are you? There you go. Well, see, there you go. You can't get any from the South in Puerto Rico. I don't, well, I'm, I'm right in the middle of that. I'm, I'm originally from Georgia, so we're, uh, we're kindred spirits then. Well, thank you, uh, Matt, and Matt is a great leader of this, of this great attraction, and I, we, we, uh, we're thrilled to, uh, to, to be a part of this today. Uh, we thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, for being a, a great friend of tourism, uh, not only in, uh, here in, in the Hartford area, but on a statewide basis as well, and we're, you, you're a great leader in, in our efforts, and we appreciate you very much. Uh, we appreciate the travelers for for not only uh, being a part of this uh, of this great event and, and partnering with the Science Center, uh, but also, as, as you know, coming up here in, uh, in the not too distant future uh, is another great event that Travelers involved in, the Travelers uh, Golf uh, Tournament, which is coming up in, uh, in June. So, and we'll, we'll be a part of that with, with, uh, with Travelers and, and we'll be, uh, be looking forward to that. So we appreciate all the things that Travelers does in, in, our, in our community and in our state as far as tourism goes. You know, tourism in this, in this state is an $11 billion industry. It employs over 110,000 people. So 110,000 families in this state are touched by tourism in one way or the other by, uh, by, by, uh, throughout the course of a year's time. Matt mentioned that we're getting ready, or we're a part of, 
and and you'll be seeing more of this over the next uh, over the next few weeks. We're getting ready for a whole new rebranding of this state. And one of the things that I want to make mention of that that is happening that will affect this science center and the reason this science center is so important in the fabric and the tourism fabric of this state is that one of the things that we found out a number of things we found out but one of the things that we found as we did all the research are there are two major segments that we're going to be going after and both of them are both of them will affect the visitation of the science center and there's a group there's a group that is called drive and discover the group of, in, in the research, and those are the, the people who, uh, who love local history. They love to learn something, obviously, uh, and the Science Center is affected by that. They love scenery, historic sites, foliage, and they love museums. They're all coupled in that, in that group of people that love this kind of adventure, this kind of, of, uh, of experience that the Science Center offers. And then there's another group that obviously, because you see all the, all the kids here and the, the parents that they represent, the families that this that we'll be going after then and our research shows that those two groups are the ones that are most interested in traveling to Connecticut and so as we move forward with our rebranding and we move forward with the tourism efforts that the that Governor Malloy and and the tourism industry uh, that the legislature has has uh, fortunately given us uh, the dollars to, to put forward with the tr tourism industry coming up in the next two years will be going after. So I congratulate the, the Science Center on this great effort. Uh, thank you uh, again, Mr. Mayor. Thank you to the travelers for making this, uh, this effort possible. So thank you, Matt. Thank you, Randy. And now I would like to invite Rita Ortiz from Community Relations and Travelers to say a few words about travelers' uh, continuing uh, work here in Hartford. She's going to be very very shy on me here uh, but she's such an excellent representative I could uh, I could uh, press you to say a few words or say just start her up what would you prefer uh, let me just say <laughs> okay thank you okay so Matt put me on the spot um, thank you all for coming out I really appreciate it um, Chalice is very excited to be the lead sponsor of the museum our number one focus area in education so it really was a match for us our neighbor, so how could we say no? That isn't an open door for future requests, <laughs> But thank you so much, and let's get her started. All right.